Good morning, welcome to Life Kids Online. I'm Jinja Jingling. I'm Auntie Leanne. Let's begin with a word of prayer. Dear God, we thank you for always being there with me. We invite your presence to be with us this morning. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Now let's head for worship. It's like you, Lord, in all the earth. Matchless love and beauty and less worth. Nothing in this world can satisfy. Cause Jesus, you're the cup that will run dry. Your presence is heaven to me. Your presence is ready and let's go last week we look into a part of Joseph's life and know that God is always with Joseph so the story tells us that God is also always there for us we just need to keep practicing to see God's presence around us today let's look into the promises of God's presence in your life in our life and one key way of seeing God's presence with us is through the Holy Spirit 
and a fruitful life. So this morning, I want you to get your Bibles ready and look into two passages. The first one is from John chapter 14, verse 15 to 17. And the second passage is from John 15, verses 1 to 8. All right, do you have your Bibles with you? Let's turn to John chapter 14 and look at verse 15 to 17. Are you ready? If you love me, keep my commands, and I will ask the Father, and he will give you another advocate to help you, and will be with you forever, the Spirit of Truth. The world cannot accept him, because it neither sees him nor knows him. But you know him, for he lives with you and will be in you. Alright, let's pause a moment. Last week, we learned that God was with Joseph in the Old Testament. And in the New Testament, before Jesus ascended to heaven, he told his disciples to wait for the Holy Spirit. And we see that in Acts chapter 2, the Holy Spirit came down upon the disciples and from there, they went through a huge change. There were many miracles that happened and they were very brave to testify for Jesus so that the Father in heaven was glorified. Now, after so many years and centuries, do you think that God is still with us? The answer is yes. God is still with us through the Holy Spirit dwelling inside of us. The Holy Spirit gives us strength and leads us becoming a disciple of Jesus. Therefore, having the Holy Spirit with us, not only we respect, love and obey Him, the Holy Spirit guides us to remain in Christ and God. Now, let's look at our second passage for today. And let's look at John chapter 15 and read from verses 1 to 8. Are you ready? I am the true vine, and my father is the gardener. He cuts off every branch in me that bears no fruit. While every branch that dares bear fruit, he prunes so that it will be even more fruitful. You are already clean because of the word I have spoken to you. Remain in me as I also remain in you. No branch can bear fruit by itself. It must remain in the vine. Neither can you bear fruit unless you remain in me. I am the vine, you are the branches. If you remain in me and I in you, you will bear much fruit. Apart from me, you can do nothing. If you do not remain in me, you are like a branch that is thrown away and withers. Such branches are picked up, thrown into the fire, and burned. If you remain in me and my words remain in you, ask whatever you wish and it will be done for you. This is to my Father's glory that you bear much fruit, showing yourselves to be my disciples. Okay, now, this is a parable from Jesus that shows us that our lives are just like branches connected to a vine. We have to be connected with God so that we can bear fruit. But what kind of fruits do we bear? The fruit of the Spirit and the fruit of the Gospel. Without the fruit of the Spirit, it is difficult to bear the fruit of the Gospel as there is no testimony of living a life of good character. God not only wants us to believe in Jesus and wait to go to heaven, He also wants us to be a living testimony of the gospel so that many people would come to believe in Jesus and have salvation so that their lives will be changed and can in turn share the gospel with more people. Why do we need to bear fruit? 1. This is Jesus' order. 2. This is our mission. And 3. To glorify our Heavenly Father. Without bearing fruit, the branch is useless. Just like a Christian who does not live out the life of a Christian and does not please God. It is just like any fruit tree. If it doesn't bear fruit, its existence is meaningless. So remember, God's presence is seen when we have a fruitful life. So to have a fruitful life, we need to remain in the Lord and know that the Holy Spirit lives inside of us. 
to have a life with God, let God take control of your life, we must connect to the vine and willingly let God mold you. To bear fruits, branches will have to be pruned. So our Father in heaven will mold our lives through people and our surroundings. The key point is to have a relationship with the Father. Stay conscious of His presence surrounding us always, just as how the branch is always connected to the vine. It's family activity moments and this week in our FAM, I want you to soak yourself in the presence of God through various ways. It can be done through worship, prayer, stay silent and listen to God, or you can even read a book from the Bible and see how God works through it. And let this be a purposefully set a time during the week with yourself and your family to be inside God's presence. That's all for our lessons this week. I hope you learned something new. Let's close with a word of prayer, shall we? Let's pray. Father in heaven, I thank you for this week's lesson. I pray that you help me to remain in your presence throughout the week. In Jesus' name, and everybody say, Amen. So that's all. Bye-bye. I'll see you at 11.30. I see you at 11.30.